Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. So it is made in 148 scale and it copies GBU31 JDAM. So it's a resin set from Edward, as you can see it's a brassine wine and there should be four bombs in one set. So it might be handy with your 148 aircraft build and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and packaging here is a new type as you can see it's a slim cardboard box we have 3d image of the assembled models on the top of the box but obviously we will see these parts inside and on the back you can notice the address of the manufacturer some safety devices and that's pretty much all everything is sealed with sticky tape so I'm going to use sharp knife in order to cut through and next we open it on the sides by the way we have this small Easter egg let's say here and there as well so let's open it and here is what we have inside. So we have resin parts packed into two plastic bags and we are going to check them one by one. But obviously I won't be showing, let's say, every part because these are just four uh, similar or fully identical bombs. So that's why it's more than enough to show one set of parts which is needed to be assembled into one bomb. So first of all we have a special attachment for this bomb which will be holding them on the wing or under the fuselage, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not familiar with this type of bomb but here you can see it, it is molded as a one piece part let's focus the camera, just give me a second and camera does not want to focus on this, yeah here you can see it, so it's plain on the other side, here we have these special attachment points for the bomb. Next we continue with bomb itself so it comes as a single piece part it's quite big even for 148 scale I would say it's large so here you can see comparison with my fingertip so just to give you at least some idea about the size and you can notice that tail side is molded separately so just give me a second because we have tail fin casted or molded if you prefer as a single piece part which is really cool because you won't have to waste your time with separate tail fins and then their installation on the bomb body here you can see it as a single piece part which is really cool okay and we have attachment points in the tail area which is also useful because you will be able to carefully separate it and without damaging the leading edge on this part Next we go on with P parts, so they come in the separate plastic bag, just give me a sec. Okay, so here it is, it's unpainted P thread, I would say typical Edward product. And quality looks fine, but be ready to work with these parts because they might require some bending and of course typical procedures it means the CA glue usage and also primer here we have also decals which are printed in Edward as well we have various stencils which is really cool because not that many arm sets actually feature such addition out of the box and last but not the least is the assembly manual which is printed in this small brochure we have stencils application guide and also marking guide on the first page or on the cover here we continue with various assembly steps so everything starts with installation of the tail section here you have to install the resin parts which should be somewhere separately frankly speaking oh yeah they come on the separate base which is really small so just give me a second you see assembly manual is really handy in finding miss parts so we have these no sections casted as separate pieces here out of the dark resin which is really cool and again you just separate them on this part install it on the main body let's say and it will be good to go next what do we have here we work with some PE parts on the tail area and there will be also 
separate color for these tail fins and the next page shows that you have to bend some PE parts in order to install them around the bomb so be ready for this and on the other side we have of course the installation of this attachment here it is and again some PE parts will be involved in this process maybe I will close the camera a bit now you should be able to see it better so I wouldn't say that it's beginner friendly process because there are many uh, small P and resin parts so if you're not confident in your skills definitely think before starting such subject but what I'm sure that it will be handy for 148 build because it will bring a bit better quality for quite a reasonable price in my opinion and as you can see there are a lot of stuff which is not included even into the original plastic kits if they feature such bombs so of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye